What's up guys, still in my car, knocking out a bunch of questions here. Uh, it's super cool that I can answer a bunch of people's questions because I love talking about pet turtles like this. And I was getting tons of people asking questions from the Facebook groups when I was posting all my tanks of turtles. And I just, I just love keeping pet turtles. So this is really cool for me to connect with other people. And I really like it when you guys ask your questions about pet turtles. And, um, even though some of these questions are kind of stupid, uh, it's really cool to just answer all of them. No question is stupid. The only stupid question is the unsaid question, I think some old person once told me. No, I'm just kidding. All right, guys, so today's, today's topic is keeping moss balls with pet turtles. Um, I got a couple questions regarding this. Like, um, it's absolutely a great idea because most turtles don't bother moss balls and they help clean your water essentially you know they will consume nitrates like in a fish tank and it's a great idea there is um i did a little research and the best place to actually buy moss balls there's a seller right on amazon which is crazy um there's a couple of them aquatic arts is enough is one of them and i think imperial tropicals is the other but i'll throw a link in the description box to the to the best seller um, I noticed that they've been a bestseller for years and you might as well just buy from them. So it's a great idea to add moss balls to your tank. Um, most, most turtles in my experience aren't going to care about a moss ball or screw with it. Um, it's, it's a great addition to an ecosystem, you know, like that is the cool part about creating these artificial habitats is the, the more real you make them the better off they are because we're trying to replicate natural habitat and live plants like a moss ball is a great addition. So, um, this is, this was a good question because people sometimes wonder, you know, if the turtles going to eat live plants or if it's not, it's just, uh, it's, it's a great question. So if you guys have other questions, hit up the comments or just PM me on this account here. Um, I've been doing as many answering as many questions as I can and it's super cool to connect if you want to send me cool videos or pictures of your tank I would I would absolutely love that um what else is there to talk about I'll be posting a bunch of new videos of my tanks um what you should do is get yourself some moss balls like we talked about and uh, I'll throw a link in the description box to the seller on Amazon I highly advise everyone else to get a decent uh canister filter because a lot of times I find that 90% of turtle keepers have crappy, crappy filters on their tanks and they're undersized. So you need to buy a massive filter. And that means a canister filter. If you're not looking to spend a lot of money but still get the most bang for your buck, I highly advise the Sun Sun 404. The thing's a beast. And it's like a budget line filter. So I'll throw a link to that in the description box too. Um, and I'm not sitting here preaching trying to sell things, but the the three things I see people screw up is the turtle dock isn't big enough. Number three, that the the canister filter isn't big enough. And, or wait, God, I'm just, this person's doing something really odd right next to me. I totally apologize. Number one, your filter's too small. Number two, your dock is too small. Uh, you can check out some of the better ones on Amazon. Or number three, uh, you're not doing water changes frequent enough. What you should be doing is buying a water changer. Uh, if you don't know what it is, research it. I'll throw a link in the description box. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm sick of blabbing on the cam. 